3D printing is fun, but building a custom 3D printer is even better. At least before you start, because there's actually a lot of things to consider. While building a Cartesian type 3D printer might not seem unique, I'm actually developing this one for a specialized application that will hopefully make it stand out. As you can probably guess from the number of linear rails, I took quite an inspiration from Bamboo Labs A1 Mini. Of course, it's far from done, but the most vital components are there. One of my goals is to make the 3D printer's footprint really small, so to make it compact I'm trying to use 20x20 20 20 or 20x40 20 aluminum profiles instead of larger ones. But I already know that the power source will be the problem because it's quite big and therefore difficult to hide. For the motherboard I'm using Big Tree Tech's SKR Mini E3 version 3.0 which is compatible and usually found in Ender-like 3D printers. I have to say that so far its functionality has been simply amazing. I have no complaints. I also have their LCD touchscreen for which I made a special enclosure and I'll post a separate video about this process. This is the 12 volt power source. I know they are smaller but I'm still sticking with this one because it has its own fan. The printer has only one Z axis but the most challenging part so far might have been how to connect X and Z axis. I wanted slim and sturdy steel components and tried to avoid 3D printed parts, but in the end I ended up with both. The motors of Z and Y axis are standard NEMA 17, while for the X axis I'm actually using smaller version NEMA 17 Pancake, which is cute smaller version of the motor, which helps to reduce the weight on the Z axis. Speaking of Z axis, at the moment this printer can achieve the height of 288mm, but that's without the print head. So I suspect that the final height will be around 280 mm, give or take. The build plate is 220 by 220 and I have to say it's pretty tight. As you can see there's only so much space an end could maybe fit in between and no more. I'm quite proud about it but I have to admit it was semi-intentional. So you can see it's coming along. At the moment I'm 3D printing some of the parts, like for example this mounting for a print hat, and on average it takes me 3 iterations before the part fits perfectly. There are just some things that you cannot predict or need to be substituted because of some other thing later on. In the future I'm planning on adding a microprobe for the homing of Z-axis, LED lights, an actual hotbed, lift the platform and an enclosure that will make it look nice. If you're interested in the project, feel free to follow along. If you have suggestions about the improvements, leave them in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.